Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Career Mode here today for part 14 for the Mexican Grand Prix our first non-sprint weekend since the Japanese Grand Prix but before we go to qualifying we have an issue Okay, the guys have found a leak in one of the coolant lines so we're patching that up as we speak hold tight for now until we've got everything checked over So we start qualifying then and we have a very wet qualifying here in Mexico as we tr struggle to try and get the power down, we're all over the place on our first run, just trying to find the grip, using this more as a sightseer than an actual lap itself, we're all the way down at the back after that lap, so now this time we know where the grip is, we can carry on pushing, and by the end of the lap, we're purple set to one, purple set to two, we try and get the power down, coming out in the final corner, and just like it was, in the last episode in America, it's the visual pole position, but it's not anymore because the track has dried as we get to the end of qualifying and we're up four seconds, five seconds on the inter time of being pushed by someone behind. We have a big snap of oversteer as we get out of the final corner now. Currently at the back, B22, we cross the line. And that is going to put us P13 for the Mexico Grand Prix. Let's go. Welcome to the most popular city in North America. The legendary Jim Clark won the first official F1 race here in 1963. It's Mexico City and it's Grand Prix Sunday. 2,285 metres above sea level. That is one of the key details of this circuit. It tests the driver's fitness and their engine's efficiency. The other one is the atmosphere. An incredible crowd, a raucous crowd, and there's 30,000 of them waiting for the drivers at the end of this 2.6 mile lap in the Fora Sol. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Gasly, Albon, Hamilton, Norris, Ocon, Stroll, Brown, Oscar Piastri, Joe, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Sargent, Russell, Fittipaldi, and Nick de Vries. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Joined once again by Anthony Davidson for this one. And there's a lot of incidents on track recently for this driver. No one does that on purpose. It is part and parcel of racing though. Certainly confidence is an important factor. And every time you're involved in an incident, it's not just the car you damage, but that confidence as well. But all the top racing drivers were able to tune that out when the race gets underway and focus on the job at hand. So we're here on the grid then for the Grand Prix. Your normal one-stopper, starting on the softs, going over to the mediums to finish the Grand Prix. And hopefully we can go a little bit further forward from 13th on the grid. We've got a decent point score run going at the minute. If you take out the sprint races we've had in Qatar and America. So we wait for the five red lights as they come on here. Here we're racing, here in Mexico. And we've got a good second phase. The first phase wasn't particularly good. Now we're just looking to find someone's slipstream as we head down towards turn one. We nearly hit the back of one of the accidents and we did have to lift off. But that has allowed us to do one of the dive bombs of the century. We've got three cars here. We're trying to go around the outside. We've got the McLaren as well. We've gained several positions at the start. We've gained a hell of a lot of positions at the start, actually. It's now on the back of Stroll and Gasly we send it to the inside of both of them into that tight chicane and we are on the way up into P6 from P13 that is one of the best starts I think we've got with games what's that seven positions in just one sector of the lap Bottas having a great qualifying in the Alfa Romeo they haven't really been in it this season as 
I thought we could get both of us, but unfortunately, we're looking in our mirrors so far in this race, as we really put Gasly on the curb there, going through turn one. Now until lap four, we just couldn't break the DRS. It's very hard to break because the long, long pitch straight does not help, and Gasly is through and past us, and now it was Alonso we were to not stroll. He's having a little sniff. But it's Max Verstappen who's winning again. At the top. And now on the back of Gasly. We are going to look to send it back up the inside. But we're slightly too far back. To do anything there. And Gasly is through. As we go into the tricky part of the lap. Now. But now towards the end of lap 4. Here we come into the stadium section for the fourth time and we've gone a bit deep we've gone a bit deep and Alonso tries to sneak up our inside but he can't get the exit we fend him off for now as now we round the final corner the sweeping final corner and head down the pit straight and look at the launch Fernando Alonso gets in the slipstream he has passed us they're just about sticking with him with the overtake button but still there, Gasly just ahead, and we're going to break later, roll the car into the corner, and we go sailing back round the outside of Gasly, as we fend off Alonso, we turn that opportunity into an overtake, and we're back ahead of Gasly, just like that as Lance Stroll, spins it around, and has had quite a big gap behind him, quite, quite the train, and now has to get his race going again from stone dead last with his teammate fighting for good points behind behind us as now Gasly is once again on the back of us and Alonso now maybe the iron up the double overtake Gasly goes to the inside Alonso tries to go to the outside we are cut back to the inside now send it laying up the inside but we've gone a bit deep that's allowed Gasly to attempt the cut back but he couldn't get the job done and we stay ahead but we've gone wide on the exit and Andon Gasly is on our outside we're going to have the inside line though for the next corner we're up the inside of Gasly Alonso's all over the back trying to find a way through but we keep the Frenchman behind for now we're racing him so hard we're really enjoying this battle lap 9 now and he's so much closer Gasly fly past and we have to take back into the stream but watch out for Alonso Alonso on the outside we try to go to the inside and we keep it around the outside keep it pinned Alonso we keep behind we've had a bit of a tank slapper we're not going to be able to get past Gasly to rear the tank from here as we head down the sec second DRS zone and into the tight Chicane. I think that may be it for Gasly, hopefully we can get him back, but we don't have to see. As here comes Alonso, we've still got DRS off the Alpine, and that's allowing Alonso to not get close enough to us. As he goes run up the inside still, we chop the door off, we put him on the curb, we stay ahead and we've gained, we've aced that triple chicane and find ourselves right on the back of Gasly but we're not quite close enough to retake that position yet we're all snailing through that section here we go now though we're on the back of Gasly through and it's another gearbox issue no it's spun round again and just like it was in the America Sprint it's we're out of the Mexico Grand Prix, two gearbox issues in a row. Well, this is so, so frustrating. I don't know whether it's glitch or what. It's minor damage that's turning out to be terminal. Max is tapping wins though, and that ends up lovely run of point scores as well Fittipaldi flying the flag for us could only get 14th and there's some other big big points down the drain and we need to sort these gearbox issues out because we can't be having that that's now two in the last two races happening 
in the America Sprint. That time though a bit more costly because we were right at the front. In the championship it's all eating up the constructors. Just 11 points in it between Red Bull and Mercedes. As we go into the final two races of this season then. This is a replay of what happened. We were just minding our own business sticking with Cassidy having a good race and then gearbox goes we spin round. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. We go to Brazil next for another sprint but it is the final sprint of the season. I'll see you then. Goodbye.